All right, and welcome back to another hacking tutorial from Stealth Data Zero. Today, I'm going to be showing you about a program called Unicorn. Now, what this program does is generate um, malicious PowerShell scripts that you can use to attack Windows 10, 8, and 7. Um, for the most case, they are fully undetectable. Um, Windows 10, fully patched, will um, flag these as malicious PowerShell scripts. But Windows 7 and 8, um, as far as I know, um, I haven't tested them, but as far as I know, are fully exploitable, even if they are fully patched. Now, I'm going to be doing this video um, slightly different to cut down on video time, just because it would be an extremely long video otherwise. But if you have any questions, go ahead and ask them in the comments, and I will answer every single uh, question. So the first thing you need to do is open up your Firefox browser. Go to github.com slash trustedsec slash unicorn. Go to the download right here. Once you're at the page. And click where it says download zip. And that will begin your download. You'll see your blue arrow right here. And you just want to hit save. Um, when it gives you the option to save it or run it and then it will be in your download uh, folder where's it at right here so then you'll take it from here the file you just downloaded and place it on your desktop here like so and it will be a zip file like this you want to left click it and hit extract here that will create this folder here so then you open up your terminal and type uh, CD capital D desktop to direct to your desktop uh, files. Hit LS to list all the files on your desktop. This is the file you'll be interested in, so copy that and then type CD and then paste that name there or type it out like so. And then it will show you this and then you'll hit LS to list all those files inside of the unicorn file. And when you want to start the program, this is how you'll need to start the program. You'll need to go into the unicorn file and then run this right here, which you can see this file is green, so that means it's executable. So you can hit period forward slash unicorn.py to execute and start the program. So again, it's CD desktop ls uh, CD unicorn tac master ls and then period forward slash unicorn dot py and you'll have to start the program each time by entering uh, the file and then um, executing it with period forward slash unicorn dot py and then this explains about the um, the author of the program and uh, how to use it and it gives you examples on different ways uh, different um, ways that can generate payloads. We're just going to be focusing on the top one here. Um, instead of using reverse HTTPS, we're going to be using reverse TCP. So you want to scroll down to here and um, hit period forward slash unicorn.py windows slash interpreter slash reverse TCP and then use your public IP address mines 10.0.0.15 I mean your private, I mean your internal IP address, and then I use port 445. You can use whatever port you'd like. To find your internal IP address, all you need to do is type ifconfig, and it'll be this number here. Now, if you want to do this remotely, when you're generating the payload, this number here needs to be your public IP address, which you can find by Googling what's my IP address. And then um, the port you use needs to be port forwarded. So in my case, I would use my public IP address here. And then port 445 has to be port forwarded to my Kali Linux box. But if you're doing this over the LAN, and which in other words, the same Wi-Fi, you just type your internal IP address and then whatever port you want to use, I like to use 445. So again, here's what you need to type. Uh, win unicorn.py windows slash interpreter slash reverse TCP and then your internal IP address, which you find by typing ifconfig 
and then port 445 or whatever port you like. Then it will tell you it's generating the shellcode. Gives you that cool little unicorn uh, uniform or uh, icon. And then it tells you everything is generated and it tells you where in the PowerShell TXT and it shows you how to use it. But I'll explain that and you can look over that too if you need to. So the PowerShell that attack.txt is going to be here. I took this and hit copy and moved it to other locations. And what I did is put it in my Apache folder. And to start your Apache server, you need to hit service Apache 2 start inside of your terminal. And you can paste it here. And then you'll be able to access it from the LAN on the same Wi-Fi or um, over the internet if you port forward port 80 to your Catalinux box. Um, you can and use your public IP address. You can direct people to your Apache server. So I like to keep my things organized on my server, so that's why I have it here. I have made it a text file, and I also saved it as a bat file because if it's a batch file. Um, you can just double click it and run it and that will uh, launch the payload and I'll show you what I mean here. So you need either copy the text from that text file um, and paste it into the CMD uh, command prompt of Windows, whatever target you ha you're hacking, or make it a batch file and get them to run it. And as you can see here, here's a screen cap of the hacked Windows 10 machine. Um, right here is the uh, PowerShell script. I just named it attack.bat and all I did was open up my Firefox browser, um, direct it to my Apache server with my internal IP address, and then copied and pasted that attack, the text inside of that attack um, txt file, and put it in Notepad and saved it as a batch file, and then double click it and ran it. And that gave me my interpreter shell. You can also open up a command prompt, type PowerShell, and then um, take that text file and the text inside of it and paste it into the command prompt folder or in the command prompt and run it. And it will also give you an interpreter shell that way. And then Unicorn itself also explains a couple different ways you can um, get the attack ran right here. So to catch the um, the signal that the payload is going to send out, you need to have Metasploit running. Um, so I just typed MSF console. Um, you can do this in a separate terminal or whenever you want, but you need to use the multi handler to catch the signal. Um, you need to use the same payload and make sure you capitalize the same things I capitalize. And we use Windows slash interpreter slash reverse TCP. You need to use the same port for L port that you used when making the payload and this will always be your internal IP address as L host. Then I hit exploit and that started my multi-handler. Then I directed the target to um, my Apache server and ran the malicious uh, text file in my command prompt and it gave me a shell. I hit system info to prove that it's Windows 10 and then I hit screenshot to generate that screenshot that I showed you of the hat um, Windows 10 device. So that's how you use the program Unicorn. Um, remember if you're doing it remotely you need to use your public IP address in the payload and port forward whatever port you're using um, when generating the payload. So right here would be your um, public IP address and this port needs to be forwarded. Um, if you want to start the program again, you need to uh, navigate your uh, terminal to the file and hit period.unicorn.py and you can take these files and move them to your home folder if you like um, or just leave them on your desktop to keep things simple so you can follow the same exact steps again to open up the program, but that's how you would hack Windows 
10, 8, and 7 with, uh, for the most case, a fully undetectable payload because it's just a batch script or in some cases plain text. So hopefully you found the video um, interesting and informative. If you did, go ahead and drop a like. If you have any questions, go ahead and ask them in the comments. I will answer every single question. Um, and as always, just be safe, have fun, and keep hacking.